Welcome back. Yeah. Friends and family and acquaintances. Ooh. <laughs> That's right. Back to another episode of Starlight's Gaming. We are in the Stank okay. Village, <laughs> about a, what is this, the, like, seventh zone? Ooh, I didn't even... Hmm. Um, we got... There's only one more... S- um, yeah, welcome to this the place? jungle. <laughs> um, Voila! Rocky Road. You're in the jungle, baby! You're um, going to fucking shit! <laughs> jungle land... Or, no, forest... Endor. Endor. Woo! And then, uh... Snow... So, I, I didn't count all of those. Just naming. <laughs> so one, two... Huh? Three, four, five. This is five. Huh? Huh? I'm back. Then there must be only, like, six areas. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Because after Stankland, there's just, like, the cave yeah. place. Yeah. And then, uh... And then we got... The, oh, no, no surprise. What? And we got... We got cool. Who knows? You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> um, in my escapades, I Tune into the last eight episodes of Starlets to find out. <laughs> see how we got to this point in time. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Don't screw this up! <laughs> I'm gonna do it with my eyes closed. Ready? Ready? <gasps> oh! My goodness. Well... Thank- like, I'd like to thank my parents. I. I'd like to thank Lady Luck. Oh. I guess you just get a barrel. I get a barrel to get myself out. That was it. <sighs> Anyways, rude. One of the songs that like I, because I found like a playlist that was like, oh, because I was looking up the f- fucking uh, Numa Numa song, but like <laughs> the actual song. By the Ozone. Which, it's a really sweet song. Um, yeah. I, I, I love it. I, you yeah. know? My love for, like, yeah. Bass Hunter and, like, that kind of, like, 90s dance pop music. German pop. <laughs> Bass Hunter was Swedish? Is Swedish? Oh, really? He didn't die that I know of. He didn't die? No. Were you worried about that? Oh, no. Was there rumors? For anyone who doesn't know, the song uh, Dota is Bass Hunter. So you probably have heard Bass Hunter, and boy is he awesome. But anyways, so is uh, the Ozone people who did the Numa Numa song, but it's not called the Numa Numa song. But no, I was started listening to like ska from like nineties thousands. Are you shitting me? Like real big fish and less yeah. than Jake. And I found a uh, fuck. Scotty doesn't know that Fiona and me do it in my bed every Sunday. <laughs> Doesn't see that church, or she doesn't go. Still, she's on her knees. But Scotty doesn't know. Oh, Scotty doesn't know. Don't tell Scotty. She's underneath me, sucking. <laughs> well, I'm right behind her, fucking ducking, ducking. She's trying not to moan. Oh my God. Oh, I thought you died. I thought I did too. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I thought you did. It's a three-way call and she knows nothing. Or he knows nothing. He knows. Oh, I thought <laughs> he was on the phone with his mom. Oh. I forgot. Wait. Oh, it's Stacy's boyfriend. Mixing... Wait, Whoa! so the song, you're you're doing a mashup of uh, Stacy's Scotty's... doesn't know Scotty's that my mom, mom and me were fucking Stacy's mom, mom, mom who also. is apparently also Scotty's mom. <laughs> She's the correct one. We're fucking snotty. Snotty. <laughs> fucking snotty. <laughs> she grabbed me a tissue box, but she didn't blow. <laughs> Scotty doesn't blow! Scotty doesn't blow! Scotty doesn't blow! Don't blow, Scotty! <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like, uh, like a shitty kid's yeah. book. Don't blow, Scotty! Or like a shitty Caillou episode. Fuck! Yeah. Fuck Caillou. <laughs> and his bald ass. <laughs> Mm. Caillou, Caillou, kind of spoiled little song. shit. Like people, like because there's many people out there who are just Woo. enraged by Caillou. Like they are just it they will a go off on huge tangents. Show. 
Was it though? I thought it was the best show ever. You are lying. No, I am lying. <laughs> Did you ever like watch him? Oh yeah, you, okay? you were a big fan. I was not. <laughs> yeah, you were. As a kid, you were like, shut up. You were like, hey, I want to call you. I want to shave my head and look like a douche. I want to go at the age of four. Caillou. Yeah, as if. Spell Caillou. Uh, C A I L L O U. Dang it! I thought you were gonna like rage and C A L. Let me see if I am right. Are you right? Are you wrong? Is this not a real song? I just stepped in the fire. Oh my toes! So far I away. Must tell my goodbye oh, to uh, my speak of the devil. Guess who is right about spelling Caillou? Tis I. Not that I watched it frequently. I just know yeah. things. You know how you know how to spell it? You watch that spelling. Spell Fuck you, bald day. orange. Um. So base hunter. Yeah, you like... and boat, and boat on the, on the mid the moon. Emotion. And you can buy the boat. Should I be boat. concerned that my hair is like in that fire? <laughs> Everyone thinks that that's his Our hair. Donkey's that's fire. his skull. Did you ever see the Donkey Kong cartoon, or loose phrase, cartoon, where they like oh, they yeah. shaved his head, and underneath you see that that's the actual shape of his head is like that banana melon thing. <laughs> Yeah, he so really, it's like something he really is needs not to right see. with Donkey Kong. He really needs to. Oh, dude, oh, homie G, thank you, man. For us. <laughs> he really needs to see a surgeon about the cranial stenosis as a son of gun. Oh. Bummer City. Bummer City. Scotty indeed. doesn't know that his mom is Stacy. Freck, Freck, Shrek, and me were doing Fiona with Donkey. Fiona! Was that Mike Myers? No, that was off brand. <laughs> Indian Shrek. <laughs> Fiona. Fiona. What? You know how, like, in other countries, like, when they do a ripoff of a certain thing. You know how the United States did with Lion King? Or Kaiba, the white lion. <laughs> Kaiba? It was Kimba. Kimba, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaiba. Kaiba, the white lion. Kaiba is the, uh... <laughs> the white <laughs> I would watch that movie. <laughs> it's Kaiba, the blue eyes, white, white lightning. dragon. <laughs> Blue eyes, white lion. <laughs> ooh, ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> hot tootsies. Oh, please survive. This is the end. Diddy doesn't know that donkey and me were fucking. Oh, my oh. fucking oil. This is a fucking paradox. Disaster. This is America fighting for oil. <laughs> getting, getting political. Oh, thanks again, <laughs> man. <laughs> That's the noise it makes when I get a chub. <laughs> 99 red balloons bam, 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 bam. what's your favorite bond james <laughs> what's your favorite james bond movie um gorilla glue that is not a james bond movie it's a bond <laughs> you you know spackle i changed my answer i'm gonna spackle your dackle G for the Kong and the win! Victory! Oh, I should've just clapped you in and let you at least win one. You have 20 Please. wins. <laughs> Please. You're doing great. Ooh, this is all me. Jack a track, 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 hammer. Jack a track, 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 the slammer. Oh wait, this isn't the oil one. Still all me, baby. The oil one. Oh yeah, we have to get the, like get the to recharge the things. Driving my truck. <laughs> Why does that always come up when we're playing? Because it's so good. I'm not... I'm not, I'm questioning why it does, just so everyone knows, I'm not complaining. Wind in my hair brings, brings me luck. luck. There's probably a Spotify channel for that as well. Bullshit. We're not sponsored by Spotify, by the way. Woo! Watch out for Dagger Boy. Shark Boy and Lava Girl, part two. Best We're movie not sponsored ever. by Shark Girl and Lava Girl, part two, coming out this fall. Fuck, that guy just speared me worse than the Edge. Oh, Nice. How's Edge doing? The rated R superstar. Not good. <laughs> Spinal stenosis has got him down. Oh, shit. <laughs> God. Poor guy. I think we talked about this once before, about just music in general. Talk about music and used correctly. Like, wrestlers nowadays, a lot of their music, Woof. they have trouble having songs that necessarily apply to them. Apply to them, definitely. Yeah, that definitely can be said. Like, because, like, um, one of the top, um, stars, top baby faces, 
um, AJ Styles, Top who is fr- a boy from Georgia, is playing a song that really doesn't quite match him. However, like it's cool. It sounds it sounds really neat. But um, the one. You know who had a great song was the Rated R Superstar. Do you remember his song? Uh, yes. It uh, starts with shoot. a... Oh, wait, hang on. <laughs> Boing. Oh, I can't remember. It was one of the ones that I, like, knew yeah. that I would, like, play. Oh, you it know it, because his... as soon as I start singing, you'll sing it with me, because it's so good. I can't Well, remember. this was one of his themes. He, he actually went through a few different ones, but I think oh. this is the one he ended on, and it was, like, definitely peaked during his rated r superstar days when he was a big heel and yeah because it was like his i would listen to cody rhodes before he was stardust <laughs> he <laughs> listened to stardust no and then uh aj what was the diva aj oh aj lee yeah hers oh, it up. yeah light dude let's light it up um, okay, oh Edge's, his, it? you think you know me, <laughs> on this day, I see clearly, oh, yeah. as a, da, 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 oh my god, da, da, da. I went right we into just died, we fell into the abyss, it's so yeah. great, I recall, but what's great about those folks, which, I know, like, we'll be having some wrestling gameplays on this for sure. When it comes down to it, that's probably where I started watching wrestling, was more just, the there was games. a, yeah, there was a Super Nintendo, or no, it was an, maybe it was an NES game. No, it was Super Nintendo. It was a Super Nintendo wrestling game that I used to play that had, because um, I remember always wanting to be either Macho Man, Randy Savage, Hulk, Hogan, um, Mother of God, uh, Sting... Every birth you and, take. um, yeah, that one. <laughs> um, uh, what do I, what do I do? Oh, does a rose finish her? Um. <laughs> Get off, man, it's gonna collapse. What is that? Oh, I um, like heard it ever so slightly. Oh, what's his name? Bret Hart, Bret Hart. Yeah, fuck you. Isn't he the um, guy that, like, fell from the roof? No, that was his, that was one of his siblings or cousin. But yeah, he fell from the roof and died. Elevator antics, that sucks. Yeah, it was, it was, no. like, a huge crowd watched this man plummet to the earth and die. Yeah. That's wrestling for you. Can't There's, do that. oh yeah, just check out, like, online. Like, you can find some gnarly videos of, like, recordings people, people have. To look... Of not that. Like, Search I don't think. Bret Hart's that... brother's yeah, death. No, I don't <laughs> think that one is visible anywhere but there's other wrestling events that you see like um like the blood like vader i think it was lost his ear in between ropes what it got like twisted up in the ropes and it like just completely shaved off his ear ew Um, something happened. Oh, God. Like, oh, the best match ever. The Hell in a Cell between Undertaker and McFoley. That when McFoley got his tooth stuck in his nose. After in his own fell. nose? Or in his own team? nose. What? Yeah. Yeah, his tooth somehow. He. The match, they started up on top of the ring and. Ooh. Um. That was kind of McFoley's decision. He said, "I'm." He's like, "I'm just going up there," and he just went. And so the Undertaker followed him up, and they both were really unsteady up there. And this, it was like the first time this was ever done. But they threw him off the top of the. Um, he threw him off the top of the Hell in the Cell, onto one of the tables, um, and that's like a thirty plus foot drop it's pretty huge distance so he was like (laughs) destroyed so the paramedics came out grabbed him but then he got off the stretcher and ran back to the ring because it's real to me dang it (laughs) oh he was a real hero all the things he does to his bodies but so he gets back in the ring um well, no, no, he doesn't get back on the ring. He climbs back up on top with Undertaker. Well, 
this is before a lot of safety, like a lot of safety things came of matches like this because what they ended up doing is like mm. the top of the cage was being held in by like just zip ties or something. And they said they saw the zip ties just go pew, pew, just flying through the air. <laughs> and um, Undertaker did a choke slam and he went through the roof, but he wasn't supposed to. But luckily, Mick Foley was so tired and beaten up that by that point, he didn't like do a good job with the lift for the um, choke slam. So because he didn't do a good lift, he fell just on his like back. But if he would have done a Ooh. big choke pickup, he would have went right down right on his head and he would have died because he came down on one of the chairs that was oh, in the fuck. that had fallen in the ring um, before he fell in. Mm. And it wasn't supposed that wasn't supposed to happen. It's great because in the actual I keep forgetting that top part. In the actual match, you can see the look on Undertaker's face of like Oh shit, should I keep going. <laughs> like, yeah, he did. Um, but Mick Foley, he did, when he fell, he actually went unconscious, he said, and so he probably got a concussion. But when he woke up, he said he remembers the first thing he saw when he woke up was a pair of shoes, and he was just like, whose shoes are those? And they were the referee's shoes. And, like, he was, like, super concerned about the shoes as the match was continued. Like, whose shoes are those? Where did those come from? That the Undertaker, to, like, buy time, the referee ran up to him and said, he is out cold. And the Undertaker said, I'm going to yell at you, okay? And the ref was like, cool. And so he, like, yelled at the ref, and he grabbed the ref and did, gave the ref a choke slam. So that bottom level time for Mick Foley to wake up. Jesus. Mick Foley woke up um, when he got up you saw a, one of his teeth had came out, and Ew, it was wedged no. in his nostril. No! Ew! Yeah. And he he had this great moment where he said um, he made a split-second decision based off of Shit, that, you where he also had a ton of blood coming down his mouth, and he realized some of the blood was coming from his bottom lip, and he, was, and he thought to himself, I'm pretty sure I have a hole in my lip, so I'm going to stick my tongue through the hole in my lip, and this will look really cool. Here he didn't have a hole in his lip, but it made him look like he had this like wicked smile on his face. And it's like, just look it up, Mick Foley, tooth and nose. Like it's the picture that'll come up of him smiling with this tooth, like very obviously in his nose. Um, he ended up then grabbing a bag of tacks, um, pouring it on the ground to throw the Undertaker on. And then the Undertaker chokeslammed him on the tacks. And then finally they ended the match, luckily, because Mick Foley was incredibly broken. <laughs> He had he had Ew. busted his shoulder and went most of the match with a busted up shoulder. Ew. It was great. And ew. Did you see it? I'm trying. I'm intrigued. <laughs> I don't I know if I'm kidding. Oh, I'm dying. No, that's not it. That's Santa Claus. Okay. Oh god, that was Andre the Giant eating a giant spoon. <laughs> was it just <laughs> eating a giant spoon? <laughs> was he eating the spoon? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Alright, let's let's quit fucking about and beat this fucking shit no <laughs> all right okay no more messing well, around don't worry about the secrets just 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 do it just do it oh it's mick foley we will continue this yeah yeah we'll continue this um i'll have the picture for him to view and i'll save it for the rest of you because I, I don't want to see without you you know what i probably won't be able to show you guys the pictures Ew. but just check it out no i see it you see it Ew. How is that his tooth? Yep, that's him. That's his tooth. Yep. He's... How did that even get there? Right, he doesn't know. Nobody <laughs> knows. <laughs> oh, Mick Foley. That's gross. Bang, bang. All right. Good night, everybody. Have a great day. Barf. As Mick Foley would say. <laughs> bang, bang. I'm going to do it with my ass closed. Ready? Ready? <gasps> Get a barrel. I get a barrel to get myself out. That was it. <sighs>